What is going on guys? Brutal Life back with another video and today we have the WWE Survivor Series War Games oh. prediction video for 2022. Right. This is uh this is not just Survivor Series, this is War Games. Is dad. It, that almost sounds like Wardlow. Yes. Which is it on AEW? Which is on AEW. AEW. He's on AEW. AEW. Which Brett <laughs> may start doing reviews on, which I think that he <laughs> yes. should have a long time Let ago. Let me know if you guys want to see reviews on AEW down in the comments down below. But yes. yes, guys, this is the Survivor Series War Games full match card prediction video. Yes, it is. We are filming this on a Tuesday, so they might not yeah. have revealed all the matches yet. We haven't watched SmackDown yet, so once again, no. they could announce no. more matches. But we have all the matches that are announced so far, and we're going to be talking about every single one of them in this video. Wow, this is we're amazing. We're going to be giving our predictions with that alive. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. And let's get it. Starting off with our first match, it is AJ Styles going one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor for absolutely nothing. nothing. Basically, the OC versus the Judgment Day. You got to think that the OC is going to be on ringside. You got to think that the Judgment Day is going to be on ringside for yeah. Balor. OC for Styles. Who's winning this match, Dad? Well, all I have to do is to, to AJ Styles is say, Daddy's home. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, if anybody remembers what that was from, a rivalry with AJ Styles many Samoa. years ago. Samoa, Samoa Joe. Joe. I was going to ask them to comment ah, on that. Darn you it. ruined it. Darn it, fool. Dad. You fool. No. Anyway, I am going Styles on this. I am just not a uh, fan of the uh, Judgment Day. Judgment Day. I can understand. They're boring. Nowadays. They are. It's just it's getting boring. old. And Come on already. Let's move on, shall we? So I'm going AJ Styles AJ for Styles. no reason other than I want AJ Styles to win. Hooray. I feel like Judgment Day has been getting the best of the OC over the past yeah. couple weeks here, and they've just been beating them down. I feel like when you're heel, you have this magical power that just allows you to beat up on the faces every yeah. single dang week, and it's annoying. AJ yeah. Styles is going to take the dub here, maybe with some help from Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. Maybe. Maybe not. Either way, though, so I got AJ Styles winning. I don't think it's over between the OC and, and uh, the Judgment Day, though. I think no. this rivalry is going to continue. I don't see it ending with a one-on-one -on -one match. I could see it ending with mm -hmm. like a tag team match between all of them. It is Austin Theory going up against Bobby Lashley, going up against Seth Rollins in a triple threat match for the United States Championship that Seth mm. Rollins currently holds. This is going to be a fire match. I'm excited for it. Triple yeah. threat m uh, match rules for the United States Championship. High stakes, right. high right, reward. Right, right. Going into this match, I got Seth Rollins. I don't Do see Bobby Lashley winning. No. I feel like he's held that title recently. Yeah. Theory, I feel like Triple H wants to push him back down and have him build back up once again. I don't see Theory picking up the United States title right away here after his new character change. I'm going with Seth Rollins to retain the belt. Well, you know what? I am in agreement on this one. Yes. I'm going with uh, Seth Rollins to retain. Definitely. To hold the belt. I don't see Lashley, like Brett says. I don't see Theory. Just had money in the bank for all the time. Lost that. Yeah. So I don't see them getting anything new anytime soon. Uh, the or, uh, Bobby Lashley's been in and out of belts for the past few months. So, yeah, I'm going Seth Rollins to Same. take it. And uh, if Trips is uh, listening, Triple H, please change his uh, thing back yeah. to like, the way he was. <laughs> his, gimmick, his gimmick is just terrible. I can't it's stand terrible. it. You know, he, <gasps> oh. Yeah, no. No, no that, it's yeah, stupid. No, let's burn it down. Yeah, we need there that. There we go. So, anyway, yeah, Seth, Seth Rollins. Seth though. Rollins, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Next. Next matchup we have here is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It is Shotzi going one on one with Ronda Rousey. You gotta think that Shayna Baszler is gonna be on ringside for Ronda Rousey, helping her out in this match if she even needs the help. Correct, Dad. Oh, uh, I'm going here? Ronda Rousey to win it's this an one. Easy yeah, the, one. this is easy. Shotzi, no way. No, that would be an extreme super shocking. shocker. Yeah, extremely <laughs> shocking if Shotzi won. But you no never way. know. Triple H could surprise you. But I don't see it. Uh, I see Shayna Baszler <laughs> somehow helping out Ronda probably in this, and then Ronda going with her uh, with the armbar deal. Yeah, and, uh, probably to finish yeah. her off, and she uh, likes that'll to do be that. she'll tap out, and then that'll be that. So yeah, I'm going uh, Ronda to take this one. I see this being a fa uh, fast match. Uh, like I said, yeah. I think Shayna Baszler might get involved. But like I said, Ronda Rousey doesn't even need the help. This is such an easy dub for Ronda Rousey here. If Shotzi wins, that would just make zero sense whatsoever. Ronda Rousey is going to retain this SmackDown as championship and hold that belt for longer. Definitely. Shotzi's not winning. Come on. Jumping into our first War Games match. We're going to jump into the Women's War Games match first. It is... Basically, Bailey's team versus Bianca's team. That's what I like to say, but I'm going to run down the participants right now. On Bailey's team, of course, we have Bailey, Nikki Cross, Rhea Ripley, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky going up against hey, Bianca. Going Dakota up against. Kai and Rhea Sky. Oh, yeah. They're, literally, that, that, that's literally how the tag team is. Yeah, that, that going, up, going up against Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, Asuka, 
and Mia Yim. And they have a fifth partner yet to be announced, but I think that partner is going to be Beth Phoenix because Rhea Ripley was like one of the last to be announced for Bailey's team, and I could see Beth Phoenix coming into this match and getting redemption on Rhea Ripley for smashing her head in with that steel chair. Yeah, that never feels good. No, no. this is going to be a fun match though, Dad. Who's winning? It will. Oh, I got. You know what? I'm going with a face win on this one. I don't see a yeah? heel win. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, again, I'm yeah, it's not pretty a big, basic uh, heels faces. Y- y- exactly. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of Bailey, so I don't want her to win anything. I just want her to go away. Sorry, Bailey. Nothing personal. There you go. Uh, so I'm going with Bianca Belair and the uh, hottest woman in WWE, which is Alexa Bliss, as we all know, and uh, face win. Face win. Yeah, you got a face win here. Face win. Yeah. For this match, because you got to factor in the men's one, I feel like they're going to want to do one heel win, one face win between okay, the two okay, War okay, Games okay. matches. Yeah. Uh, and I see it being. This is. Oh, it could go either way. It doesn't really matter who wins this, but That's my it. prediction is. Uh oh. Uh-oh. It's tough. I Uh-oh. got Bianca. Be- I got Bianca Belair's team. Okay, we're going face. I got Bianca nice. Belair's team nice. beating this team, especially with that return of Beth Phoenix, which I know is going to happen. Or they could just go the lame route and just be like a basic Liv Morgan face, random person like that. But I feel like the Beth Phoenix return would be really cool, and right. that it helped them achieve the victory even greater than if it were like Liv Morgan or somebody else. But no matter who it is, I'm going with Bianca Belair. Nice to win the War Games uh, match for her team. And jumping into the men's side of thing for the War Games match. This is War Games match number two. It is the Bloodline. Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, The Usos, and Solo Sokoa going up against Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, The Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge, and Sheamus. Wow. This is going to be such a fun match. Wow. We got the Scottish and the Irish in the same this room. This is going to be and so the Canadian. good. What the heck? And the Tribal Chief is in this match. Uh-huh. What a way to keep the title on him for a couple more days leading to WrestleMania in this tag team match rivalry right. in War Games. Because he can't lose the titles. It's not about the no. belts. It's about War Games. It's not about the titles at all. Right. It just extends the days until WrestleMania when he loses it to The Rock. Exactly. But yes, this is War Games Bloodline versus the Brawling Brutes team will just say, Dad, who's winning? I'm not really sure. So I I know. Go, I well so so I'll just gonna go with Wait, the, wait, I think the Brawling Brutes are gonna win. Oh, the Brawling <laughs> Brutes. A uh, big head <laughs> <laughs> Butch. Big head Butch. Anyhow, I am feeling oozy. Oh so man. I am going with the tribal chief. Wow. Roman Reigns. Yeah, because we had the and faces. The goons. We had the faces. Yeah, we had the faces. Here. So now we got to go with the heels. Oh, man. Uh, I just, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. I know, right? I want to see this team I win. just felt like saying that I'm feeling Lucy. <laughs> That's yeah. why I said that. So, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go Roman on that because, yeah. again, they can't lose. He can't lose until WrestleMania yeah. when he goes up against The Rock, which is still a prediction. I was wrong about one thing. I said Theory would cash in against The Rock. With yeah, the but he bank. lost his briefcase, but unfortunately. Over with. Really so sad. I was wrong about that. But <laughs> the rock thing will still come into play. Oh, yeah, totally. Exactly. Uh, Bloodline, Brawling Brutes, Kevin Owens, Drew. This is going to be a really fun match. Uh, yeah. And like I said, I got Bianca Belair's team winning, and they are faces the face. in there. Mm-hmm. And I don't see double faces winning both War Games yeah. matches. You got to have a heel win. And it's going to be the Bloodline. The Bloodline's going to beat this team. It's the Bloodline. They're unbeatable. Right. Roman Reigns, no matter what match he's in, right. wins matches, delivers. He's with the Usos, one of the well, greatest does, tag teams of all time. He does do a lot of cheating. He does do a lot of cheating, yes. but you can cheat in yes. War Games. Anything goes inside oh. of War Games. But he has cheated in a lot of matches he's won. Like it's He would have really lost the title a long to time Kevin ago. Owens. To Kevin Owens, which we all know. He had him down for like a 20 count, but then the ref stopped counting for whatever reason. The ref was in cahoots. He's part of the bloodline. Chad Patton, part of the bloodline. He's an (laughs) Usy. Or was it Charles Roberts? I forgot. But anyways, the bloodline is winning this match. Yeah, for sure. No doubt about it. Roman Reigns is going to hold up those belts, even though it wasn't even for the titles. Mm. The bloodline has to win. Let's be real. But yes, guys, that has been the War Games Survivor Series 2022 prediction video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to smash a like. Comment down below your predictions, mainly for this match and the women's War Games match. Down in the comments down below. And we will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for the review video as well. I will be reviewing this entire show in a setup style on the Brutal Live channel. I know you guys love those, so stay tuned for it. And Dead Alive, anything to say before we go? Um, uh, yeah, we're going to do an AEW review soon, and y'all better watch. And if you don't like WWE, we don't we like don't you. We don't like you. <laughs>